hey before you scroll before you click to something else why, why do we like to click very quickly before you click to something else this morning i just thought i'd remind you of something and that is in the book of romans chapter 6 verse 14 and this is paul writing to the romans and he says to them for sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law but under grace Paul writes the book to, to the church in Romans and he's writing to them and he's telling them, hey guys, there was a time when sin was your master. There was a time when sin had authority. It had dominion. It had influence over you. There was a time when you couldn't help it. You, you couldn't leave. You did not know how to live in any other way. Sin had dominion over you. He says, but that is not the way you live now. That is not your lifestyle. Your lifestyle now is the fact that you live in the grace of God. I was just thinking this morning, are there areas in your life where you feel sin is your master? Are there, are there places, portions, sections in your life where, man, it's impossible to conquer. It's impossible to break. There's a habit, there's a, there's a mindset, there's a thing that simply has you it has your number it has control over you do you live with a with a thought of yeah we're humans we sin we fall we stumble that's who we are we can't help it i mean it's part of being human let me remind you this morning the power of sin the control the sovereignty of sin over you was broken it was broken over 2,000 years ago when Jesus went on the cross, paid the full penalty and broke the hold of sin. He broke the power. He broke the, rel the reign of sin. That everyone that believes in him walks into that freedom, walks into that liberty over sin. And so Paul says, let sin, sin shall no longer be your master. Does that mean you don't stumble? Does that mean you don't fall? Yes, but it just means it, at, at, you, there are moments you, we stumble and fall, but at the core of who we are, sin is not our master. And sometimes we need to remind ourselves, sin will make suggestions, sin will, bring, will throw certain hints at us, it will seek to draw us to certain places, draw us to a certain lifestyle, draw us to certain words. But every time we, we are drawn, May we remember sin has no master. It can only suggest, but it is not our master. Jesus has broken the mastery of sin over our lives. May we live in the grace of God. May we live in the freedom and knowledge that sin is not my master. I am not helpless against sin. I have one that has conquered sin and I can live in the reality of that. And when I fall, I still stand up and say, no, you will not keep me down. You will not keep me down. There is one in me that has conquered sin. So God bless you as you live in the reality that sin is no longer your master.